Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It's Friday, the 14th of June. This is my weekly recap. I'm calling it early today. It's about 1120. Um, you know, it's not been the easiest of weeks, but we managed to navigate our way through it here. Had a decent week today, ended very nicely. And the market's just very, very quiet. To all the dads out there, wishing you a very happy Father's Day on Sunday. Enjoy your weekend. It's one weekend we get. Happy Father's Day, indeed. If you want to join us, come on over to smartoptiontrading.com. Lift click on live trading alerts. I'll put a link in the description. You can join us in our live Discord room and Zoom. So let's talk about this week. And this week was marked by inflation data and the Fed. So some very good news. CPI came in better than expected. PPI came in deflationary, which is even better. That was very good to see from those numbers. This is the first good inflation data we've had in a couple months. The Fed came out on Wednesday, no no rate changes, and they were still fairly hawkish. Um, for what it's worth, they're sticking to the mantra that, you know, they need to see a sustained down movement in inflation. Uh, it's nice to, you know, nice to see that inflation came down finally a little bit after a couple months of sideways just ticking up. So, you know, they still put us on path towards a rate cut later on this year. The next meeting is in July, July 31st. We doubt we get a rate cut then. Then you have Jackson Hole event and symposium in, in August and then in September. And if you think you're going to get a cut before the election, and I'm kind of in that mindset, then September would be the one to do it on because the November meeting is right on election day. So we'll be watching them to see how it goes. The SPY here is up at all time highs, hit 544.12 on Wednesday and trading still above this gap and holding in very narrow candle. Overall, volume remains very, very low, unusually low in this market. Let's go look at some other things while we're here. Oops. All right. The Qs have been leading all-time highs. Is this a healthy market? Not particularly. We're being led by the semis and a handful of tech names, and everything else is mostly out of play. But the market's staying up, and you stick with the trend until it breaks. The Qs just shy of the all-time high today, hit it yesterday. The IWM remains weak. It's breaking down. The Dow has not been strong at all. Uh, energy remains weak. Even though oil's bounced a little bit, it's coming down. The financials have been very much out of play. Somebody in the room, I forget who, pointed out how weak the regional bank ETF, KRE, has been. Uh, XBI, biotech is doing nothing here, kind of just going sideways. Good news is bonds have bounced nicely, pushing up. That means rates are coming down. The bad news is dollar has been very strengthening up. So you kind of have a mixed market when it comes to these things. The semis here, your leader. New all-time highs yesterday, close today. Avgo, blowout report, guidance, 10 for one split coming. New all-time highs. NVIDIA, this is the name that doesn't quit. New all-time highs here again today. This theme has been up almost every day other than a handful since earnings. Uh, Micron hit a new all-time high yesterday. Qualcomm hit a new all-time high yesterday. Arm just took out the IPO high and put a new all-time high in today when it's just joined the S&P 500. If you're trying to trade outside of this area, it's not been so easy. That said, Apple had a Tay Day move, the likes of which we have not seen on Apple in forever. A huge, huge move. It basically moved the entire year's range in two days, all the way up to 220. Digesting nicely inside that last candle here, holding up in the top... Um, top half of it. Nice move. This one looks like it might want more. Microsoft today up, almost back at the all-time high. It's been strong. Google put a new all-time high in on Wednesday, coming back here today, held the 21-day perfectly. Amazon remains weak. Meta, which gave some nice trades to us early this week, makes weak, but it's holding in. Who else do I want to talk about? Netflix today. We caught Netflix you know, Netflix yesterday, we noted that it had relative strength. So we put it on our watch list today. We caught this nicely. Nice big move here on Netflix breaking out. 680, my next target. And then the all-time high is up there uh, above 700. You know, this is just how this market's trading. And if you're trying to trying to force trades in other names and saying, I don't want to trade these anymore, this is it. The trade is to go where the money is. And the money right now is in these handful of names and the semis. Quick conversation about Tesla. Musk got his money. They reincorporated already back from Delaware to Texas. The market's selling the news. Um, this is good news for Tesla that Musk got his money. The bad news is that 
nothing changes in the VV space at this point. It's still the same problems that are going on there. And until some of these other things that Musk is hinting at or talking about, like, you know, F FSD or the or, or the robo taxi and robotics and AI come to fruition, it's stuck and lumped in with the rest. So with that said, it is Father's Day this weekend. I won't get a time to do charts, but I will put a video out there, my week ahead video. I'll put that out for free for you guys as well. I'm going to wish you all a wonderful weekend, a happy Father's Day, and I'll catch you guys live in the room on Monday morning.